Hello, my Sock Universe, for part three of this year's Serie A jersey review. Again, I took how did I chose the teams in this video. You saw it already in my one and two Premier League jersey review. I took standings of last season, went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and then everything with a one got in video one, everything with a three is in video part three. Now, it's another video where I have four teams where I have jerseys, um, which made it really hard. And then I said, yeah, Milan is in there, which is my favorite team uh, by a long shot in Serie A. However, I decided, no, I'm always wearing Milan and there's enough Milan on this wall anyway, especially up there as well. And so I decided, yeah, I one of my other favorite teams was always Parma and this is just a wonderful Parma jersey, all its glory here. Uh, from two seasons ago has even the ridiculous Serie A patch. So let's choose that one. We'll start with Atalanta, everyone's darling team with not so, such a likable coach all, overall and they were so good that I had to get this jersey uh, during the Corona break because I actually thought they have a huge chance of doing something in the Champions League even and you know they were not too far off Let's be honest with that. And I also, this is a really nice looking jersey with the Dea symbol. I actually wanted to get the home jersey, which I initially always thought this is a reference to Inter, who are also black and blue, but no, Atalanta is a year older. So they were the initial black and blue team. And we'll get a classic Italian looking striping. I usually like my stripes a little bit thicker, like the Juve shirt back up there. Um, but the thin strap look is probably my second fave favorite, especially in Italy, where you see this very often. And most importantly, I think they will have a lot more sponsors uh, in league play. I have, I have not seen uh, this jer jersey yet, but we have a new sponsor that is just there. And yeah, we have the orange on the back, which is not that great. Uh, centered crest allows for another sponsor to be put on the other side, like this one with the R on. Again, Yoma, Homa, Joma, I don't know. Drop a line below if you know how the proper Spanish pronunciation is. I don't want, I don't care about English or how you say it. I want to have the proper proper Spanish. I always say Homa, but I'm not sure if that's actually correct. So, but I'll keep saying Homa and embarrass myself. I really like this one. I, if you ask me, I would like to have the crest on its proper place on the left but other than that this is really really nicely done down to the collar uh, also looks all right nine stars i'm really refraining from 10 stars this season the away jersey though i know atalanta had a similar crazy look in the early, early early 90s when they were sponsored by lotto so i guess maybe this is a little bit referring to that also note how one sleeve cuff is blue the other one is plain white la dea the goddess Atalanta is now here only in its pure running form as it is on this jersey um, and it's kind of cut out of the pattern. The pattern is a teeny bit too wild for me and it looks a little bit too asymmetric. Look all, also the color. There is one side that is uh, blue, the other one uh, the hair has a blue trim and the other one is white. Just doesn't sit right and then the sponsor interferes with the pattern at least you should have maybe accommodated the sponsor put the sponsor a little bit smaller you know whatever i know sponsors are very particular at least the sponsor is black which fits all right with this jersey um but it's not my absolute favorite uh it goes a little bit the crazy part and a little bit too off five stars i would say uh the third jersey makes a whole lot of sense you know, this is how you do it third Thursday. You take a color, like with Intel, take a, uh, one of your club's colors, maybe all that slightly. Here we take blue, we make it a little bit lighter, more Napoli-like. And then you have a band with the club's colors that house both the club's logos and the manufacturer logo. I really like that idea. One complaint is it is wide enough for the manufacturer, but not wide enough for the crest. 
maybe just the circle with the goddess would have been enough here. Uh, the collar is kind of a rugby style collar, which looks odd, uh, but you know, with the sponsor, you have also some blue stripes here going down on the side. Um, it's not the most appealing jersey, but I think I like the idea. This is much better than uh, whatever green, or you know, if you choose just a weird color. This stays, this is identifiable as an Atalanta jersey. Seven stars. Let's do it like that. Next up, Cagliari. I was going also, shall I put Cagliari on? Cagliari switched to Adidas, which really surprised me. That's fine. <laughs> but what did Adidas do here? This is probably the messiest jersey out there. Uh, the classic Cagliari. Uh, Macron delivered wonderful Cagliari jerseys. If you go through my reviews, I uh, like one after the other. And now we have white sleeves. And we have gold. And we have sponsors with highly patterned uh, logos. It's just all too much. It's too much. Either go all out for the white or all out for the gold. But I think the gold is... I actually the have, have looked with the white sleeves. Maybe I could get on board with it. But the gold then completely... Hmm. It's too much, and then the crest. <laughs> yeah, home jersey have at least on the home jersey in full color. Uh, it's too much. Two stars. I'm sorry. I wanna like it. I don't. I really don't. But I really, 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 really like the away jersey. Here, Adidas have done an outstanding job, and even the sponsors cannot ruin this. They fit fine in there. I've only. One small suggestion, one small suggestion. You look at the diagonal pattern. I would like to have it alternating, you know, the red for the thick and the thinner, maybe in blue. But I totally am in love with the blue side panels with the red uh, Adidas stripes. That looks cool. Uh, I'm even fine that the sleeve cuffs here are two sided. Uh, yeah, this looks great, even with the sponsors. Uh, the sponsors maybe drop it down a, a teeny bit, but this is a really great look, look, look looking jersey uh, here. And for a small club like Cagliari, Adidas is doing some, something special, not the uh, not So I have to say this should be considered as a nine star jersey. Absolutely. I'm not kidding. Crotone. Zeus. I think we saw them two years ago when they were doing for Rosinone. Um, the problem with it, it's a little bit over-designed. Uh, you take, it's the classic, it's Barcelona strapping, maybe reverse Barcelona strapping. Um, I never was a huge fan of the Crotone crest because this white square in there, although it's probably a reference to the city or whatever, uh, I think it would be better without my personal opinion. Um, I don't like this American football-like silvery thingy here. Uh, it's a little bit too much than the pattern within the blue strap. Uh, it just tries to do too much and at the same time then ruins the jersey, to be honest. And so we go from a decent look. If you just look a little bit closer, there's too much going on. Here's a lot of going on too, but it actually makes all sense here. Uh, it kind of feels stitched together. That's what I don't like. And for that reason, we are thinking here also low three stars. Uh, the away jersey, despite having a much crazier pattern, I like this a whole lot more because here you don't have any of these additional colors going. It's just white and then you have a crazy pattern that is uh, kind of inspired by the coastline of Crotone. So you get a little bit of a local feel in there as well. Um, I like the color in the, color, uh, in the club's colors. So this actually, I like a whole lot better. Yes, we have a sponsor that's a little bit too intrusive and there's a room for a second sponsor which probably will go on there for sure. Uh, I cannot now remember. It's very sponsor heavy. So um, that drops it down. But I think the idea of that one, I actually, if I look at this one, I like this a whole lot better than what I did for the previous one. Um, but I think it's still not more than six stars because again, it tries a little bit too much as well. Uh, and then the third jersey. Uh, take another one of those. We take two of the most in fashion colors. We take uh, the mud green and put a little bit pink around it. And then full color crest to go with it. And then maybe uh, there's a photograph, I guess, is from the stadium or some, some, something like that. This is what I hate. I hate. 
to doing like a, it's better to put a black jersey out there because uh, but you don't dark blue you have it sitting right there it's staring at you take dark blue you don't need to do any green or whatever two stars milan first of all uh the fan base was very excited to see the thicker straps going back thicker straps you want a scudetto in this one the original thick strap jersey as i call like to call it i don't think a milan had a thick maybe they did uh in the er, earlier then the last scudetto one also with a thick strap jersey which i never really liked and then i wanted to have it and never got it i am all right with it but of the three versions the very thin stripes the medium stripes and the thick stripes is my least favorite one and then the whole puma technology does a little bit uh, over does it i mean the holes here are atrocious i am all right with the black sleeves i would love that they do it like here to get a little bit more red in here i milan jerseys work best when the red and the black are balanced but it's an identifiable Milan look. But, and then it tries to put a little bit of local flavor in there in putting the floor pad of the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele onto the jersey in kind of gray and you see it on a close-up. I love the idea. The execution is honestly a bit lacking. It becomes distracting when you look at it. Um, and again this is where the crafted by culture approach gets a little bit too far my opinion i know many love it i'm not on the loving side i loved last season's jersey that's about as perfect a milan jersey as you can get that was last season's uh this one yeah and then don't get me started on the sponsor the sponsor fly emirates there's a certain elegance to it. What I like about the sponsor here is that um, it takes the playfulness of uh, Arabic lettering, puts it into a nice uh, Latin context. Here we have two fonts. It looks messy. Emirates enough, that's enough. Fly better? No, it doesn't fit. And so you see, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I will love it if they win the Scudetto with it. It doesn't look bad in play, but uh, it's six stars. Cannot go high. It's probably the worst effort that Puma put out there so far. Uh, and Puma just cannot get the away jersey right. The first one had the just a black band here. The last season had the two uh, contrasting stripes. Was better, didn't like it either. This I call the Scarlet Fever. I know this is inspired by the architecture of a museum on there. It's hideous. It's hideous. And except for sponsor and logo, the black is completely missing. I don't... S One star. One star. My white, white Milan jerseys are my favorite jerseys of Milan. The black and the red are great, but I like my white Milan jerseys. Not this one. Puma has not gotten that right. This is consistently bad and this is the worst of the bunch so far. Take all the cultural refer re references away. It's not a good jersey. It's really not. Um, and then the third jersey, and I'm coming around with this one, it has this houndstooth pattern that's fading in there, which is of course fashion inspired because Milan fashion capital. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna grab its blue. What team is, has blue in its colors that is a major rival of Milan? It's Inter. No, you cannot have blue. It's fortunately a teal, so, and there has been a bluish Milan jersey with Lotto that looked crazy. So there is some precedence. It's too blue. <laughs> I actually wish that they would make the sleeve cuffs that there's some Rossonero on there. Uh, then I think I could come around with this a little bit more. Uh, even the crest looks... This, this is what I... 
And I'm saying this while I am considering getting this jersey because, you know, I have my Milan, I have uh, all kinds of black, white and red and black jerseys. I have now the gold jersey, a gold jersey, or the gold jersey, I should say, uh, the centenary one. So, yeah, this would fit kind of into, but this is exactly what it is. Take a color, slap a crest on it and you have a new jersey. I'm really, really split. Uh, from the design idea here, uh, coming. Yeah, I... I like it better than the away jersey. I don't like it better than the home jersey. And this time I think it's Milan's turn to take a beating from me. Um, I'm gonna give this four stars. I'm saying this although I'm considering getting this one. Four stars. You cannot have blue. You cannot have blue. I would love to see a red Milan jersey again. Make this red with this pattern black. Then we're talking. Parma. We finally have reached Parma and yeah, you know already, I know the black cross on the white is a very sharp pattern. I don't like Parma in with this black cross. Parma is yellow and blue. Make a white jersey with a little bit yellow, a little bit blue. This is my Parma, not this. Or go with this one full time. And then you add black sleeves. It should be more aggressive. No, it doesn't look better. I actually, the first time I saw Parma, Parma with the black cross, I said, ah, that's interesting. But I really like it better if it was uh, in blue and uh, yellow. And actually, you could find a compromise. Make this cross in blue with a yellow outline or the other way around and mm, mm, you get my blessing for, for that. Uh, kind of make a hybrid of that. But no, you're amping up the black and white. Parma is yellow and blue. They're the giallo blue. Why do you play in black and white? Why do you continue doing this folly? I know. Maybe I am alone in this battle but I don't get it I don't get it this is a Parma jersey I made a point of getting this jersey because this is Parma for me this is not and then the black sleeves nah it's just too much. it's just too much um, five stars five stars then they issued two away jerseys which basically together would yield this jersey the one is uh, yellow with blue, although the blue around the chest is a little bit too too dark than the other, and then monochromatic crest. Dangerous territory, but okay. Jello, blue, it's all right. Six star. Um, the other one is more a Boca look, which looks actually better. That's for me is actually much better. It does not beat this B look that this one has. It just does not. But I'm willing to give this seven stars. And the third jersey, yeah. That's what it's just third jersey does, twisting the colors a little bit. I wonder if this is yellow or green, or maybe this is exactly the point of it. But it's boring, isn't it? It's also only five stars. Not so sold on the jerseys in this video. Maybe you have a completely different opinion. I want to hear your opinion. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye!